Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple LED taillight install on Chevrolet Corvette C6s. Now it should work, I can't imagine it not working for Z06s or ZR1s, basically the same car underneath in terms of the wiring for the brakes lights. Now, as some of you that have tempted this may know, you go out and buy a simple LED bulb. For instance, I got these at Pep Boys, nothing really special to them. As with any LED install, you need a resistor. Specifically, for this car, a 50 watt 6 ohm resistor. You can get them in a 4 pack for 10 bucks on Amazon. Work flawlessly. Now, if you've attempted this, there's a very distinctive problem you'll come across. I'll show you. I've taken one, I've plugged it into the wiring harness. I didn't put the resistor in, don't worry about it. That won't cause this problem. But just putting the bulb in will cause this. Watch the dashboard. It makes the dashboard flash, which is annoying. And in the daytime, when you push the brake pedal, that little circuit error will also make the parking lights come on. It's very annoying. Now, what you'll have to do to fix this is simply get a pair of these. I'll let this focus in in a second. These are rectifier diodes. What this basically is, is a control valve for electronics. So it'll only let the, it'll only let the circuit, uh, the electricity through the circuit, excuse me, go one way. That will fix your problem. Now, I'm going to show you how to wire this up. It'll work perfectly fine. I've been running this setup for a little bit. I just thought a how-to video would be handy for those of you looking, because Lord knows I did a lot of trial and error to figure it out. All right, show you guys a bit more up close here. Oh, that flash is horrendous. I do apologize. <laughs> Get that wrangle there. There we go. All right. Now, this is what you have. This is for the right side. You'll see there are three wires. I've already split these open a bit, which makes the T connectors, as you see here, connect a little better. It's not necessary, but I think it's... I think it's just better to do. Why well, come back and do the job twice, right? This green wire, and on the other side, it is yellow. You have basically the outermost wire. This will control the actual turn signal, okay? This black wire on the end, where my thumb is now, I don't know, put my finger behind it, it's more easy to see. This is your ground wire. This one in the middle is the one that causes all your problems. This controls the DRL circuit. Now, what you're going to need to do, you're going to take your resistor. There's no positive or negative side to a resistor, so don't worry. Take one side, wire it to your black ground wire. Take the other side, wire it to your green slash yellow uh, turn signal wire. That will fix your hyper flashing. To address the funky turn the brake lights and the DRL, or turn the DRL lights on, you're going to take one of your diodes. Cut, they're going to cut this. They're going to take one of your diodes, cut this wire in half. So literally, just go snip with uh, wire cutters, obviously. Cut this in half. Wire one end of the diode to one side, and wire the other end of the diode to the other side. Now, on a diode, there's a thing called a polarized cap. Essentially, I'll cut to a picture now. There's a little silver strip, essentially the positive end of a diode. That will go towards your light. And you'll see in a few seconds a completed version, and you'll get a perfect idea of how it works. All right, here we go. We've got our fully wired and put together one. So you got our 50 watt 6 ohm resistor. Splice into your far right wire. It'll be green, or on the other side, it's yellow. This is for the right side. And then splice into the black negative. Now, this middle, here you go. Simply, I soldered this in. It's very, it's good to be there. You can just wrap this on, crimp it on, and tape it, but, you know, why why risk it coming apart? Just do it right the first time. Soldered this in. Remember, you want your, see that silver line? That's the polarized tip of the diode. You want that facing your lights. Now, I'll show you. This is all good to go. Excuse my fob here. Ooh, right. Ugh. Yeah, 
that. So see, no problems. And if we look very nicely at our dashboard over there, no strobe. And that's all there is to it. If this helped you out, be sure to like and enjoy your new LED lights.